Hello everyone, my name is Corazar, and welcome back to Star Sector Angry Bees. We are leaving before they can decide to uh, chase us. We, uh, oh, we have a thing here, a Starliner. Nifty. It's free, but it's slow. Nope. Sorry, pal. Anyway, as I was saying, we are back, uh, we are up in this part of the sector here, because we came, or we're coming out here to Beta Zarania in order to uh, push along the Galatia quest, because this is the supposed destination of uh, Kaliza Strea's ship, the Hamatsu, well, her borrowed ship. We also stopped over here in Jerish, where we had a bit of a chat with a very advanced AI being, uh, and we discovered the location of the Planet Killer, which is down in Delta Tarshish. Uh, but we are here to take a, a spin around these systems, hit this guy, and then head down probably back to... Well, probably back to uh, the actual Alpha site, which is right up here. But let's get started. Let's, uh, we got planets to go and inspect. Let's go take a peek. What do we got here? A desert world, all right. Not much going on here, though. Nothing of interest. Okay. Sand. I hate sand. And nothing here, too, I'm going to guess. You know, sometimes if you... Uh, I think we've already run into one of those. But you can you can scan random planets and you'll find people there. And they'll be like, hey, we're stuck here. Help us. Uh, and you can help them or, or not. <laughs> so it is kind of worth, at least from a story perspective, to actually scan a lot of planets. Let's uh, just pop in here. What do we got? Ooh, nice. The green field. We have you. We don't actually need to uh, scan any more uh, like fields and such for uh, topographical data because we have maxed out our uh, level on that. But we can get a recurring source of kind of like a teeny bit of income. It's not really good, to be honest. A brother signal, but it shouldn't go off. Huh. Be still my beating heart. Or hold. <laughs> okay, we've got something here. What are you? Ooh, a revenant. Uh, compromised storage. What does that give you? You know what? Since we're out here, let's recover. It's not great. Uh, we can fix it up later. Uh, but we're, we're bound to find some more junk. And I think every last bit of uh, hold space might be handy to have. Let's see what we got here. Odds, a harvested organ. Hooray! All right. And something up here. Ooh, another uh, debris field. Okay. And some crew. All right. We have one more planet up here. Let's go check this out. Let's also, just take a quick scan of what all is here. So I think there's something else off to the right, it looks like. Some volatiles. Wow. Just filled up that revenant. Suddenly. Let's go this way. Seems to be something out here, perhaps. Yeah, there we go. What are you, buddy? Wow, that is way out there. Lobster. <laughs> uh, this game just loves shoving lobster in my face. All right. Let's get out of here. Boop. All right, so we have a red giant here. Um, You know what? We could actually... Let's actually go back to the map. We're going to do that just so we can light things up properly. And we'll do that. Okay. Boop. Okay. That was fun. Got us here fast, though. That's fine. We'll buff out. I forgot which button was the brake, which was the go fast button, so. <laughs> Kind of oopsie myself there a little bit. Oh, we have an inactive gate here. 
This would be great if we, you know, could travel through the gates yet. And you are investigating. Investigating what? Seriously. Alright, so probably signal that didn't go off, that's fine. Nothing on you. And some ships that I don't want. Alright. We have uh, something down in the desert world and a cryovolcanic. Alright. With some people here, too. Wow. Ooh, a Broadway signal. Here we go again. There's a lot of debris around here. Alright. Do our survey. Ooh, that's a nice one. Rough place to live, but, uh... Overall, nice resources. That's probably you. You can't take me. <laughs> You'd be toast. Hey, drugs. Let's do that. Let's sort that. Anything else I want to dump here? Probably you, frankly. And one. I'll keep you. If I get more, it'll be worth it. If not, it won't be worth it. Check out this route. And also scavenge. Right. What do we got here? And no organics. Someday. Someday I will find the planet with organics. The toxic or frozen world with organics. Oh, there's something up here. A mining station. Nice. Ooh. Yes. This is why we're out here. There we go. The very reason we're out here. That is a cryo arithmetic engine. This we can put on a hot world with a military base. Or any, like, patrol base, military base kind of thing. And it will dramatically, ouch, uh, make our fleets larger. Not too shabby. It's a pretty good, uh, We'll trove there. All right, where to next? Let's see. We're going to go down here, here, here. We'll do our mission there. There's probably an assassin in there, too. We'll just pop in here. Is this a single system? Yes, it is. Okay. Baron, 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 Tundra. Ooh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Uh, your fleet approaches the planet. Uh, Gamma Zarania 2. Captain, there's something you should see. Your sensors officer calls attention to their display. Zoom to a portion of the planet's surface. Do the survey real quick first. Boop. Get our money. Uh, what have you found? Here, here, and here. Fusion Scorch. It says heavy lifters. A big operation. But why? There's no settlement, no facilities, no mining. Except they pull up the visual visualization of a graduated radar scan of a vast slope of scree adjacent to the lifter scorch. Surface is sharp fragments. Even distribution, gradient, suggests intentional demolition debris and recent. And, with a smile, then it gets good. The view is overlaid with a deep radar scan. The shapes are blurry, but there are distinct rectilinear forms beneath the debris. Your sensors officer sits back and not without a little pride says, I'd say someone's hiding something, Captain. Let's investigate. You order the hidden structures investigated. Deep scans are run, and salver teams along with heavy equipment are shuttled to the surface, overseen by our ops chief. The digging is easy. Deep scans from orbit direct the work toward the most promising sites. Salvage crews burrow through the loose material, shoring up the working face with temporary structural foam. After significant progress is made, your ops chief gives you an overview of the situation. Whoever covered this place up, they were thorough. Most of what's left are concrete foundations and paving made from local material. A few embedded foam metal slabs with sheared off anchor points, and a smattering of garbage in small cracks and rifts. We can tell it's mostly of recent make, talking decades, not centuries. Probably younger, the ops chief explains, waving a four-fingered hand through the display hollow. You can see we excavated the structure with the density anomalies here. They give a bright spot in the display a solid jab. Looks like a few cheap crawler drones were left to collect and dump rubbish in a slag pit. Then they drove themselves in before setting off the demo charges on the cliff face. Your ops chief steps, steps back and nods respectfully. Pro cleanup. No street data cores, no shiny bubbles. 
Rarely see anyone bother putting in this much effort. That's all I've got, Captain. Your ops chief gives a gruff salute and leaves you to ponder the diagram of the hidden base warmed now with several barren salvage tunnels. Try Tachyon. They can afford to be thorough when they want to be, and they are when it matters. Now, I thought we were supposed to go to the other yellow star, but I guess not. Okay. Oh, we're actually already here. I thought this was this one. Might be. Well, I guess we're doing this one then, aren't we? So there's probably an assassin in this system right now, waiting for us to uh, show our beautiful faces. Oh, here we go, a probe. At first scan, this appears to be a util utilitarian probe or instrument platform of the sort used for commercial navigation signaling, staking mining claims and intrasystem comm relays. Closer approach reveals a crumbled mass of stealth cladding torn from the hull and drifting in near orbit. Whoever put this platform here did not want it to be found, but a small meteor swarm, or perhaps light weapons fire, thwarted their efforts. Radiation sensors indicate a damaged nuclear battery within. No significant artificial EM activity is apparent. Let's investigate. Your bridge display focuses on figures in hard suits deploying from a work drone to swarm the probe, equipment cases and feed lines trailing. Your operations chief grumbles over the comms, enforcing strict call and response procedure in accordance with safety protocols. The salvage team soon discovers a non-standard miniaturized hyper-communications relay core at the center of the probe structure. Your ops chief turns from the console to give you that look which says this salvage job just got a lot more interesting. What do you found, chief? Your ops chief leads you through a live compilation of the salver's investigation. The hypercom core is formed from once carefully arranged loops of dense superconducting material, now bent and punctured by small impacts. Its delicate conduits seared by radiation. The sophisticated post-collapse engineering is junked, but its presence indicates the involvement of a major power player in sector politics. After the salvage team returns, their attendant cargo drone packed with recovered data cores, your technicians get to work pulling data from damaged memory. The results are scrambled. Mostly. Your techs manage to find a few archives frozen in unencrypted temporary memory. Logistics requests for basic supplies, fuel, construction material typical of remote outposts. Your comms officer proudly presents you with two mentions of the surname Astrea, presumably Kali's Astrea, in the comm logs, and even better, the last target of this comm link, a seemingly insignificant point in hyperspace. Continue. It looks like she was in the Core Worlds, at the other end of these requests, your comms officer reports. This confirms that the Black Project was operating this system and Khalees Estrella was involved. And what of the destruction or destination of the Hamatsu and the and Estrella's current location? The hyperspace coordinates beckon. So, we now know that we have to go here. So we've already been here. This is where we got our very first uh, cryo flamer, which is currently on our main ship here. Main but not favorite ship, I'll say. Uh, so, uh, we can leave, but I would like to still take a look around here and see what we can find. Uh, let's see, there's a what, Underworld there, that's right. Let's go, this is a bit risky, but we will explore this, uh, this whole place here. Ah, it's probably this assassin's coming for us. Survey. Bye. Go down this way. There. Ooh, ultra rich, not too bad. And the tundra world. Oh boy. Oh, okay, this is a solar array. Very nice. That's pretty cool. Not a bad world overall. 150 because of high gravity. Well, high gravity, because this is canceled out by this guy. This becomes adequate farmland, or no, actually becomes, uh, I think, rich farmland, plus one. Not too shabby. We'll take that, and uh, let's go see. I'm pretty sure, yeah. That was definitely the assassin looking for us. They are probably still in the system somewhere. <laughs> but we'll leave them to it. No need to fight a thousand uh, dooms all at once. 
fringe jump point. Hope this is actually in the fringe and not like next to the star. Oh, it is. Nice. Very nice. Uh, let's take a ping here. All right. This is not the uh, super alabaster I'm looking for, apparently. If you know, you know. Okay. Free junk world. And free junk world. All right, let's get out of here. We've got a few more systems to uh, take a quick peek into. And then back we go. you have for me? Mm, maybe something interesting. Ooh, hello. Desert world, rocky world. Okay. Widespread ruins. Huh. Okay. A little bit of stuff. A little bit of this. Okay. Anything else here? Something down there. Go take a gander. Do our survey. Ooh, nice. And salvage. Still no officer. Something here. Hey, AP area size four. Very nice. Got a monitor. All right, let's take a break here, and let's go take a look at Apiary. We're size 4, you're the Terran world. Um, so we probably want to... Oof, your st ooh, stability is terrible. Uh, because there's no... Yeah, there's no stable point. Okay. Well, that's rough. All right, Apiary, you're going to get a few things here. Let's start with ground defenses. Uh, we'll also do Stability Patrol HQ. Yes, we'll do that next. And, oops, not you. Uh, and then we'll also do... Do a station. I got the money for it. So there'll be one, two, three, brings us to seven. Uh, at some point, we will need to go and make a stable location and plop a comms relay in. But that's looking okay for now. On the map, what's the other planet? A barren desert world with like nothing on it. Okay. Not the best system. That's okay though. Now let's do one ping out here. Nothing. Off we go. Oh, also. Let's see, forgot. Uh, once you're done with all that stuff, let's do uh, let's do farming. You have great farming here, so let's do it. Yeah. This should also make our organics back at home home. Uh, if I can get this dust off of my mouse pad, that'd be great. Uh, here, so we should, yes, we can now get this in, sister, or in, uh, in faction. So we're paying less for the materials we need to make all of our stuff in our light industry. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, so we're gonna go to down here next. There really isn't a good site to launch from because there's no uh, big stars. Oh, there's a neutron star. Okay, they were good. I'll go there last, I guess. So we can indeed launch us ourselves back up. Really? Go away. Sheesh. Alright, so this looks like a pretty, pretty barren place in general, I think. Uh, now yeah, we're good. Don't need that. First, nothing, okay. Again, I'm doing that so that when we get to some of the bigger, crazier fights, it's not quite as, uh, not quite as difficult. Slash their faster battles in general. Alright, what do we got here? This is, a. Uh, Oh, this is a triple system. Okay. Uh, let's pop in like there, probably. This might be a real bad 
place to jump into, but let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. Got a Calypso right here. Nice. Let's do it. Uh, no, we'll take this one. It's fine. Take the usual crew. It's overkill again, but, uh, yeah, I'll do it. Never be too careful. Especially when I'm, I'm still, I'm still feeling a little, like, shaky from having not played for a while. And we've only had a few combats since then. Yikes. stuff. Okay. And nothing much we can do with that, really, unfortunately, but whatever. Uh, let's see what's over here. Where are you? Probe? No, thank you. We probably want to quickly go toward the neutron star here, so that when its uh, beam comes across, we can get out of it quickly. Hello. I can't think of like who would want to live out here in a neutron star system. That just <laughs> makes me chuckle a little bit. Are you actually like beaming neutron star? Yes, you are. Okay. Ah, there's something down here too. Oh, we got Tundra World. Wow. All right. I'm gonna let this uh, go on by. Getting kind of low on supplies, so we'll have to definitely head home soon. But I wouldn't mind checking out both these other planets here. Okay, what do we got here? We have just this thing over here. Okay. I know, I'll scan you. Why not? Five, sure. It's going to be like a great place to live if it didn't have the stupid neutron star, isn't it? I think I will take this probe. Yeah, sure, why not? I'd like some more stuff. Uh, let's... Now we'll take our, our current ship. Uh, and we'll just do some of these smaller guys. And... Like, you two. Let's do it. A little bit of free salvage, insofar as it can be considered free. Uh-oh. Did your engines turn off, buddy? I'm so sorry. Out of ammo. Yeah. There Anybody left? Right, we're there. He's there. Probably aren't going to make it, but let's see what we can do. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> okay. Alright, got 85 supply. Not too bad. And 30 supply. And 21 supply. So if we get that. Okay, so we basically, yeah, we, we got 50-ish supplies. Not too bad from that. All right, we got to go south real fast. Where this neutral... Oh, okay, never mind. We went that fast. Did we see? We didn't spot a uh, research station here, did we? No, we did not. Okay. 
So we want to get down here. We've got to wait for this uh, beam to continue on by. Ought to be good enough. Hello. Sweet. Free stuff. Always like free stuff. Right, Underworld. Oh, you're a nice. Wow, look at that. Habitable, mild climate. It's cold, but whatever. It's a great little planet. If it didn't have the, you know deadly radiation from the neutron star. Yeah. This wouldn't be a bad place if it weren't for the neutron star. Alright, off we go. Got one more planet, or one more system to check out here. Get out of here. What do you got for me? Ah, sure, why not. I said I wanted to keep the difficulty of later uh, the like, motherships down, but you know what? You know what? Let's just deal with it. It's more XP for our captains. It's more salvage for us. It's more explosions for you guys. Deploy. There we go. Little babies. Oh, they're so cute. You're not cute. You're a lot less cute. Bye. Yeah, don't worry about it, guys. I got this. Dead. So, who's next? Someone down here. Maybe. Ah, yes, the beam weapons. The beam weapons in these guys are just unfair. Oh, okay. And away we go. These guys leave the metals. Eh, I'll take them. Why not? I think we've got a survey ship location. Uh, let's see. Uh, e, actually. New. Oh. So when we hit Delta Tarshish, we can hit this one and get a survey ship. Okay. Not too shabby. Quick burst. And nothing. Oh. Salvage. Sure. Not really worth the wait, but okay. Alright, so we're going to... Uh, let's see. We want to go... We want to go somewhere with a lot of supplies. So probably like Chikamon stock. We'll do Naraka. Chikamon stock, the usual. Um... This screen's a bit farther away. And then we'll hit the uh, what the what the alpha site. Why not? Let's do the alpha site. So we're gonna get up here. We need to oh, we need to set in our course, so Naraka first. Or oh, we can just go right there, actually. Let's do it. Right about there. As I recall, let me see. Intel. Important. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We're going there. All right, so we're going to head up here to the Neutron Star. And... Bang. You also, you want to wait until this fully uh, appears before you get near it. Because if you get sucked into it while it is still forming, you might get like a little tiny jolt, but you won't go very far. So wait till it's full like that. And then burn your way through. Ow, 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 ow. Yes. 
pretty fun little ability. So here we go. This is where we're going to actually be doing uh, a little bit of combat here. We might lose all our ships. I have in the past. Although our, these ships are uh, maybe not the best, actually. Explore. Uh, yeah, we'll recover the ship. Recover you. Leave. Uh, we do need to let it uh, repair a little bit. But while we're here, let's go talk to this guy. Hi, buddy. Hey, Ziggy. How you doing? How you doing? That capital class construct appears to be a phase ship due to presenting features common to the type. Though its design is otherwise exotic, there also appear to be small, bright EM sources, only partially overlapping the visual spectrum. Since the officer reports, they periodically appear and dissipate in a volume encompassing the mysterious ship. Your bridge crew murmurs speculation between their stations. A new form of shielding? Microsoft thruster bursts? Your sensors officer shakes their head. You order a high-resolution scan performed and the raw data placed into a secure storage. So if you if you don't want to fight it, um, you can disengage and you, you've got what you need to. You don't have to uh, fight it. But uh, we're here. We may as well. Your attention strays as the impression of something not unlike distant music insinuates itself into your consciousness. As if a chorus was singing at some great distance, their voices brought to you by a chance gust of wind. When you attempt to focus on the music, the impression slips away. You become suddenly aware that your bridge crew is staring expectantly, waiting for your next command. I oh, will move the Why not? Uh, and we will do. Uh, yeah, we'll do. We'll do this guy. We'll transfer to our laser pointer. So with this, uh, not you. Uh, you're basically trying to just wear it down. Um, it's a phase ship, uh, so as long as you can actually get to it. And here's how we're going to do that, is we're going to mark it for elimination. Boop! We're going to re be replacing a lot of ships and a lot of crew here. Because uh, these things just wreck your stuff. Like that. Uh, but, as long as we can get it to stay... Um, cloaked long enough, then we can probably deal some decent, decent damage to it. Ow. Yeah, that's this ship, all right. <laughs> Nothing new there. Ow. Oh, there goes me. Okay, we first got this guy. <laughs> this guy in the back doing all the hard work. Let's go. Somebody with an engine, please. There we go. Lost a bunch of crew. Wow, look at that. <laughs> okay, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yikes. All right. But we also now have this ship if we want it. Okay, your salvage teams dock shuttles at various entry points along the vessel's massive hull. After a few tense minutes, reports start to come in. The vessel is heavily damaged, and though of exotic design, it is theoretically recoverable. Your operations chief reports that for all the fancy hull features, it is clear that this ship requires crew to operate. But there are no traces of a crew, not even a single body caught in the battle damage, and the escape pods are all in their berths. The operation proceeds with telemetry, feeds, salvers, reports, and authorization orders flowing around you through the bridge of your flagship. You catch yourself listening for that unheard music in a quiet moment and shake your head just as a comms request from your chief engineer appears, bringing you back from your reverie. You accept it as a matter of course. Sir, if I understand half of these systems, this ship is truly one of a kind. Your chief engineer speaks with genuine excitement. I found a device that appears to generate and control. I'm not sure that either is the right word, really. These swarming motes, the EM anomalies. 
The device appears to have two stages. The first, as I've described, and what appears to be a later addition, which is unfortunately damaged beyond repair. Judging by the complexity of the components and the bizarre discharge pattern, this is the work of a team of specialists doing bleeding edge work. It's amazing. A device like this, it's simply unheard of nowadays. Except, your engineer looks abashed suddenly, rumors. You know, people talk. The chief engineer clears their throat, then continues. I think I can get the main part of this device working again, though I can't claim to understand why it works. Not at all. The ship itself will be fit to fly, too, if we do the usual repairs. Should we proceed with recovery? In this case, yes, I will. So we're not going to fly this ship, uh, but we will take it as a prize for our hangar. Okay. And anything to recover here? A little bit. Okay. So we'll get a little bit of repairs done. We're going to probably end up repairing up to like... As long as our CR is uh, is okay. Our CR is going to be a bit low. But not bad. 65 for most ships. And it's fine. Perfectly fine. Uh, you just need more CR. In order to uh, jump out of here. But let's go to the Alpha site. Dun dun dun! All right. A disposable navigation satellite set to a decaying orbit identifies the radiation ravaged rock below as Alpha Site. A scan of the surface reveals an expansive research facility spilling out of a mid sized crater. The shield array apparently failed spectacularly some time ago, leaving the ruins awash in heavy radiation. From what? <laughs> Any material salvage operation would be unprofitable. However, you might be able to send a salvage team down for a short period to see if any intel can be found about the purpose of this facility. Someone clearly put a lot of resources toward building it in a most inhospitable environment, far from prying eyes. Someone with something to hide. All right. After extensive preparation and reiteration of the hazard pay policy, a volunteer salvage team is sent down on a heavily shielded shuttle. They land near what appears to be the main entrance and report ingress into the facility without difficulty. On a display projected into your flagship's bridge, you watch as a hard-suited sauber brushes past the clouded over sensor unit of a defense turret. It collapses into, into itself at a mere touch. Anything exposed to the merciless sky is slowly crumbling on, on the mechanical level. It appears that all ground side security systems have been destroyed by radiation. The interior of the facility has been breached, leaving it unpressurized. While the structure's bulk provides some protection, the delicate computer systems are fried beyond repair. No data is recoverable. With no chance of an easy find, the team spreads out for the remaining rad safe duration of to document the facility and to see if anything useful can be inferred from the ruin. While exploring, one sauber enters the quarters of a high-ranking member of the, of, the facility, of the facility staff and discovers the journal, a physical book bound to natural materials of its presumably deceased occupant. You examine the journal in the quarantine bay. The fine leather cover, leather cover is discolored, but you can make out the embossed gold leaf Tritachyon logo. Your salvage team has already scanned the text without opening the delicate pages of the book. The data has been placed in a secure cache for your review. Scrolling the virtual pages, you find that the journal appears to hold the private thoughts of the chief technology officer of this facility. It begins with vague complaints of being ordered to disregard safety protocols during tests, and frustration with demands made by Kalisa Estrella. From what you understand, this is an effort to establish a hard copy trail in case of the blame shifting and record altering which is common practice for high-ranking Tritachian executives involved in failed projects. Concerns about going outside feature prominently in the entries, understandable given the surface conditions, but the increasingly intense obsessiveness of the writing seems to reflect a growing phobia on the part of the author. The remainder of the journal is difficult to read. Most of the pages are torn or defaced, leaving a patchy, noisy scan in your display. Little of what's readable is coherent. At the very end, there's one line written in a clear, strong hand. They sing to me. Everything will be all right. And there we go. So we're going to hang out here for a minute and let our ships repair a little bit just until this stops blinking red. There we go. And away we go. Let's get out of here. 
sweet apiary is uh, moving along. Let's get down real quick before we end. We're going to go actually just straight to Esconia because Sindria always has what we need. Usually has what we need. <laughs> Correction. Yeah, let's go here. And as long as the ship is with us, uh, we will not be able to like turn off our transponder and not be known for who we are. So we need to uh, ditch this ship soon-ish. Ow, Corona. Ow, 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 ow. There we go. Okay. But officer, what do you got for me? No, I'm good. What do you want to sell me? A Zypho swing. Of course you do. <laughs> okay. Let's do a bit of transactioning here. Um, get rid of these. We'll save that for Kanta. Can have that. Oh, give me weapons too. Don't need these. Bye, weapons. See ya, see ya, see ya. Uh, Trident, Zyphos. Here. See, I got Zyphos. Don't need them. Can have that too. All right. So there's that. Let's get fuel. Let's get crew. Ah, much better. Okay. And let's get. Gosh. Like, most of this, frankly. Uh, you know what? Let's just grab it. It's going to cost us a million. Yeah, 428? Yeah. All right. Um, can I sell you anywhere good? Not really. Yeah, kind of should be a, a big customer. Look at that. <laughs> Man. All right, I think we'll just sell these here, too. No biggie none. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, we are now getting really close to the last steps. <laughs> this is like a, like, this is a really long uh, story quest if you're not familiar with it. Uh, and so we still have basically uh, three main steps to go, I think. Um, so look forward in the, probably the next couple episodes to finishing out this, uh, this quest line here. Uh, and then uh, we'll finally be able to actually use the gates that are scattered around the sector. But uh, that's going to be it for now. If you enjoyed the episode, let me know by leaving a like or a comment below. And as always, my name is Hasman Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.